Good evening and welcome to this edition of Newsletter on 6. Today is Thursday, July 25th, 2013. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Chip Ramsey with the Saturday Independent Newspaper. <clears throat> in tonight's news, the, fa- the woman charged with a fatal shooting in Coffee County last November is now in a Coffee County jail. Tennessee's Republican Party leadership says it will target county offices in next year's election cycle. And Fort Campbell's screaming eagles were welcomed to Tullahoma on Tuesday. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Let the smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Mont Eagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. Looking for a unique gift for someone special, or perhaps something just for yourself? Then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company, right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's Lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel, and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and fine sports memorabilia. There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. When you're running late headed to that sporting event or horse show and hungry but need gas, you don't have to choose which to get. Just stop at any quick market where gas prices are normal and the food is outstanding. Burgers, fries, salads, sub sandwiches, chicken strips, egg rolls, even pizza can be picked up while the gas is pumping. Stop by any quick mart today and not only save time, but enjoy some good cooking, southern hospitality, and prices you can live with. Welcome back. The woman charged with a fatal shooting in Coffee County last November is now behind bars in the Coffee County Jail. Connie King, age 37, has been returned to Manchester from Florida where she was arrested at a Daytona Beach motorcycle shop earlier this month. King was the live-in girlfriend of Thomas Colucci. The victim's body was found in a pool of blood at the Maple Springs home the couple shared. King's estranged husband, Troy King, age 41, is also charged with Colucci's murder. He was tracked down and arrested by federal marshals in California in March. Troy King is being held under a $1 million bond. Connie King is being held under a $500,000 bond. Connie King initially told investigators Kalushi was shot while she was upstairs at the home. Investigators say they don't expect more arrest in connection with the murder. Kalushi worked in the Nashville music industry. Tennessee's Republican Party leadership says it will target county offices in next year's election. The GOP now has firm control of the General Assembly. The governor and both senators are Republicans, along with seven of the state's nine congressmen. Party Chairman Chris Devaney says that, quote, Red to Roots, the Red to Roots push next year will try to elect Republicans to county and city offices. Now county and city, now county political posts are widely deter, dominated by Democrats in Middle and West Tennessee, while Republicans hold most county jobs in the East. The move would could cause more contested general elections in Coffee County and surrounding counties next August. A new study shows Tennessee's debt ratio is the lowest in the nation. One of the county's top, uh, r- rather one of the country's top bond rating agencies analyzed debt ratios in all 50 states and concluded that Tennessee's ratio is the lowest. The study conducted by the New York-based Fitch Ratings uses a metric that is calculated by combining the state's net tax-supported debt and unfunded pension liabilities, then measuring them against the state's personal income level. Tennessee's ratio of debt and pension liabilities to personal income was 1.8 percent. No other state had a ratio below 2.2 percent, and four states had ratios above 20 percent. Fitch plans to use the debt ratios as a factor in evaluating states' credit ratings. Favorable ratings from Fitch and the other major rating agencies can translate to lower interest rates when the state borrows money, resulting in savings for the taxpayers. Fitch released a similar report last year in which Tennessee also 
had the lowest debt ratio. State Comptroller Justin Wilson said, quote, there's a simple reason why our state's debt rate is so low. We borrow a small amount of money relative to the size of our government and we repay it quickly. That's a credit to our state legislators who have managed our finances very well. They have helped keep the burden that future generations of Tennesseans will have to repay very low, end quote. Tennessee Department of Veterans Affairs Commissioner Mary Bears Grinder has announced an innovative new online pre-registration form which will allow veterans and their families to pre-approve for burial in state veteran cemeteries. Traditionally, funeral directors contact the nearest state veteran cemetery when they receive a request to bury the remains of a veteran or dependent who previously expressed interest in burial at one of the four locations. In many cases, state mem family members rather are unable to locate veterans' discharge papers, which must be used to determine eligibility. The process to request and receive the appropriate discharge papers, as well as determine eligibility, can take several days or weeks. Now veterans and their families can complete the online form, which is submitted securely to their preferred state veteran cemetery, then mail their discharge papers to complete their application process. Cemetery personnel will use the discharge papers to confirm burial eligibility and will mail a formal response to the veteran or dependent within four to six weeks. Documentation will be archived rather digitally to ensure authorized cemetery staff can quickly access information when the veteran or relative passes away to provide immediate assistance. The process does not preserve a specific plot, but will ensure the eligibility process is completed before the time of death. The Tennessee Department of Veterans Affairs and manages and maintains four state veteran cemeteries to include two in Knoxville, one in Nashville, and one in Memphis. The department is in planning process for two new state veteran cemeteries to include one in southwest Tennessee and in the upper Cumberland region to ensure there is, there is a cemetery within a 75 mile radius of all Tennessee's veterans. We'll be right back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. Hello, I'm Jim Woodard from Woodard's Diamond Showroom. Some think that since we're a single store operation, we don't have the buying power of the mega chain or department stores. Woodard's is a part of the Master IJO Jewelers, the world's largest jewelry buying group. This gives us the power of 800 million in sales. You get the best of both worlds, the buying power of a major with the customer service of a hometown jeweler. Woodard's Diamond Showroom, inside Northgate Mall of Tullahoma. Are you a shoeanista with no place local to find your style? Well, now you don't have to travel any further than Bren's Shoe Boutique. Located at the Village on Jackson, 1940 North Jackson Street, Suite 120 in Tullahoma. From funky to formal, you can find the fit and style that will make you smile at Bren's. A shoeanista herself, owner Brenda Kemp offers brands like Rocket Dog, Jessica Simpson, Mia, Nine West, Jay Renee, Bandolino, and more. Want that accessory splash that none of your friends have? Brins offers a selection of one-of-a-kind handbags and jewelry with just the right bling. So if your shoe selection doesn't stack up, find what you've been looking for at a price you can afford at Brins Shoe Boutique, now open in Tullahoma. My name is Trey McNabb, and my family's been serving Tullahoma and Middle Tennessee for over 33 years. We have a huge selection of new Chryslers. Right now you can get the all new 2013 Chrysler 200 Limited for only $189 a month. You'll appreciate the convenience of our friendly service department open six days a week. Come check out the difference at Stamit Nab Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or view all of our inventory online at stamitnab.com. And remember, if anyone can, Stan can. It's time to celebrate. You don't have to drive to the city for your party supplies anymore. The Celebrate Party Store has opened at 1802 North Jackson Street in Tullahoma to service all your party needs. Over 300 varieties of balloons, party favors, gift wrap, boxes, bags, bows, plates, napkins, tablecloths, and cups of all colors. Catering supplies from utensils to serving dishes, Wilton cake decorating supplies, and chocolate melts. Wedding, baby shower, bachelorette party, and themed birthday party supplies from any sport to Hollywood. From a 
luau to Hello Kitty, Celebrate has it all. Hats, masks, patriotic decorations, pinatas, confetti cannons, and full-size celebrity cutouts, and a whole wall of greeting cards at 50% off. Celebrate is home-owned and operated by John and Karen Orr, who invite you to come in and see what they have. You won't believe your eyes, because they have it all. Start your celebration at Celebrate, 1802 Suite 820, North Jackson Street, Tullahoma, 931-455-5550. Welcome back. Tullahoma City Schools will resume classes next Wednesday. School officials want to remind parents that they can keep up with their child's progress online through a program called Edline. I spoke with Tullahoma School Superintendent Dr. Dan Lawson about the program earlier this week. Edline is something terribly important for our community to understand. Edline provides 3,400 kids with a digital grade book. So as a parent, I'm able to log on to my child's digital grade book. I'm able to see where he is behind. I'm able to see assignments that are undone. I'm able to check on his status in real time. Edline is a terribly valuable tool for communications, for interaction, both from the teacher to the parent and from the parent back to the teacher. So we think it really enhances our communications. It enhances the accountability that we have in place and it is free for our parents. The important message I'd like folks to have is that on the 14th, we're going to send home passwords to get onto Edline. Mm -hmm. Not a new program, it's something that that we've had for a while, but we really are, are attempting to make sure that everyone knows how to utilize, everyone's comfortable, and everyone is making that happen. Then on the 15th, we're live. We're going to have training sessions at the high school for those who are interested in the program but not quite to the level of comfort that they think they're ready to do it on their own so we're going to provide training at the high school we would love to have calls we'd love to have communications because we know for our children to be successful it takes their hard work it takes the investment of dedicated professionals and it takes that parental support and accountability that's important it's not one piece that makes schools happen but it's those three legs that are critical and we're excited about that rollout and think it's going to make a real difference in our community okay and that's uh, there's no excuse for not keeping up with your child's progress now because you guys have made it uh, very easy about it. and I would imagine that puts a, a little pressure on the teachers to keep those things and things upgraded or updated rather certainly as a as a parent I'm able to look at teacher a versus teacher B and see that somebody's up to date somebody is more current and it's an accountability tool for everyone involved um, back when you and I were in school we had a, a, a grade card that we took <laughs> exactly. home exactly maybe if yeah. we had to <laughs> yeah uh, and today that accountability is quite different it's it's not about a grade card after the fact instead it's about something that's dynamic that I can know about quickly enough that we can address deficiencies or we can commend great work okay and I would imagine the parents uh, participating in this process is helpful to the kids is that correct absolutely I, I think in any endeavor it doesn't matter if you're a, a kindergartner or a graduate student in college that parent partnership encouraging positive things in the educational endeavor is terribly important a fundraiser will be held at the Manchester and Tullahoma Walmart locations to aid Coffee County youths who are under the care of the Department of Children's Services Giving trees will be set up in front of each store, and needed items will be listed on tree angels. Customers who choose an angel, an angel off the tree will then purchase the item and return it to the customer service at the store. According to Rosemary Crabtree, chairperson for the Coffee County Community Advisory Board, or CAB, the goal is to provide needed items for older kids. CAB is a group of volunteers that helps raise awareness of the of, the, of children who are removed from their homes due to, you know, due to an abuse or neglect. They also work to meet some of the needs of these children. Members of, the, of CAB work within the Department of Children's Services to sponsor this effort to provide necessities such as underwear, adult diapers, and personal hygiene products for tweens and teens who have been removed from their homes. Chairperson Crabtree said, quote, these are some of the most vulnerable citizens. These children and often are often brought into state custody with just the clothes on their back and nothing else. The dates of the drive are July 31st and August 12th, and the greatest thing is that the first weekend in August is a tax-free weekend, so that would be a great time to buy some of these items, end quote. 
For more information on the effort to, or to become involved with CAB, contact Rosemary Crabtree at 455-6711 or Janice Milner at 423-650-1478. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a moment with more news later on the 6th. It's a great day at Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma. Keith Barnett here today to tell you about the 2013 redesigned Ford Fusion. It is the best mid-sized car for the money. It averages 35 miles per gallon. And most of all, folks, it is a five-star safety rated vehicle. These Ford Fusions start out at $19,995 after Ford manufactured rebates and incentives. So come on down to Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma or visit us on the web at russellbarnett.com. Tell them, Clay. My question is, why buy anywhere else? On the train test range, the search for any possible weakness continues. It's hard to stop a train. Really hard. Train, the most reliable for a reason. Hello, my name is Joe Stroop with Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. I'm here to talk to you about a couple incentives that are going on between now and end of the year. First is your federal tax credit up to $300. Secondly, 0% financing up to 15 months on XL products. Third, spring promotion up to $1,100. Finally, $500 incentives from your local power distributor. Please give us a call at 455-8757. Thank you. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. Tullahoma Mayor Lane Curley organized a county luncheon for the Screaming Eagles parachute team from Fort Campbell on Tuesday. The Screaming Eagles are training at the Tullahoma Regional Airport this week. News leader was there and brings us this report. Last week I learned that we had a group of elite parachutists that come from Fort Campbell every day and uh, they represent the United States Army. They are the elite parachutists in the country. There's eight of them and they practice here in Tullahoma. They jump seven to ten times every day each. And so while I was just making some conversation with him last week, I learned that they had a pretty basic meal of sandwiches at full lunch every day. And I thought, we've got such great cooks in Tullahoma that we need to share the, these cooks' talents with these very talented young men. And so that's what we're doing today. Thanks for all you we'll get them right down the line as they come in. How long have you guys been down here working? Well, we've been down here for two weeks now. This is our, this is our second week. Um, just taking advantage of the, the airfield and the services that, that we have down here. Yeah. Is it an enjoyable place to be oh, as far as jumping and doing what you need to do to get your job done? Absolutely. Perfect uh, airfield, everything that we need, everything that we wish we could have is right here. All right. Well, very nice facilities. Thank you. Um, we're, glad, we're glad to, like I said, we're, we appreciate your service and we're glad to have you here and hope you get a good meal today. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right, sir. The support you guys have given us is it's beyond any of us could ask. Uh, these gentlemen on the parachute demonst demonstration team, each one of them are handpicked as being the best. Uh, in in the 101st division and that's why they're here and i know i speak for each one of them when i say thank you this is incredible the uh the way you guys treat us is amazing i just can't express my gratitude enough i'm really excited about them being here and having this level of activity raised to a professional and very busy level of activity because with your growth is going to come more jumps and more jump airplanes. Look at these guys. I mean, they're going after this stuff. Never seen a bashful soldier as far as food's concerned. These guys know what a chow line looks like. 
Look at that. Look at that. Somebody needs to uncover those deviled eggs now. All right, you should have said that. You can't get out of here without a deviled egg. How long, how long was your tour over there? How long was your tour over there altogether? I was, uh, I was over there two years. During the event, Mayor Curley introduced the, the young men to a 94-year-old Tullahoma citizen who was a screaming eagle in World War II. The exchange was wonderful. Let's watch video. I learned that we have uh, a screaming eagle with us that served in World War II. Good. If you don't mind, I'm going to give Mr. Hood the floor for a minute, and he's going to be joining you for lunch today. Okay. Mr. Hood. Well, I started out on 101st in 1942. I had a the 11th Airborne Division, 1st Full Division Post. So I'd been in the hospital and they went to Luzon in the Philippines and I didn't get to go with them. And I never felt bad about it at all. <laughs> I went to Europe as a replacement to 82nd Airborne. But George Patton got me before I got there. I went all the way across France into Germany with George Patton. And I was wounded in action at Marendorf, Germany. And I came back from there to the hospital in England, recovered, and was sent back to Germany. And I went into Munch and Gladbach, and I was all over the place over there. And I went, uh, I went disabled veteran from that wound. Now, I have no problem with it, but I, I can show you the blood wings that I got in 42. I have a family that's been into this. My son went in 63. He went into the, the Army, the 82nd Airborne. Then he transferred to the 101st. <laughs> Then he was in the 173rd Airborne in Vietnam for two tours. He was in action in Vietnam. He has over 85 military jumps, and he jumped all over the world. He went in a buck private, came out of Bird Colonel, the hard way. <laughs> and my daughter was the only female on the 4th Infantry Demonstration Jump Team in Fort Carson. Wow. And I got to sign her logbook out there for a big old long jump. That's excellent. Yeah. So it's been in my family ever since 42. And I'm glad to see you guys. I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> okay. As a small, very small token of appreciation, the parachute demonstration team would like to present this plaque to you. More News Leader on 6 is coming up after this commercial break. Stay with us. The highest standard of excellence requires dedication and commitment. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of excellence in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. 
Paint Works of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Hello everyone. I'm Renee Keene and I'm running for Alderman. I want to serve the citizens of Tullahoma while promoting quality education, economic growth, and while staying engaged in our community's needs. I want to be your voice of reason for the next three years. I'm Renee Keene and I would appreciate your vote on August the 1st. Thank you. Welcome back. The Coffee County Humane Society's featured pet this week is Tawny. Tawny is a beautiful collie mix who was found suffering from the heat in the Save-A-Lot parking lot and needs to go home or find a new home. The shelter also has many other dogs available for adoption at 1210 Oakdale Street in Manchester. The hours of operation at the shelter are 7.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. The shelter's phone number is 723-2711 or 723-2730. Donations for animal care can be made to the Coffee County Humane Society by sending it to Post Office Box 252, Manchester, Tennessee 37349, and their website is www.coffeehumane.org. The pet of the week this week at the Tullahoma Animal Shelter is a water-loving Labrador Rottweiler mix named Precious. Precious is approximately three years old, gets along well with other dogs and children, and has been spayed. She loves water and would make a great lake buddy. Microchip identification is available to all dogs adopted for a $15 or greater donation to the shelter. For more details, contact Teresa at 454-9580. State law also requires a $35 deposit refundable upon proof that the adopted pet has been neutered or spayed. The Tullahoma Animal Shelter is located at 942 Maplewood Avenue. It also invites you to join them this Friday, July 26th at 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. for Adopt a Dog at Raceway in Tullahoma as part of their Customer Appreciation Day. Raceway will be giving away free hot dogs and drinks to the first 300 customers. They also have door prizes and $500 in gas will be given away. We'll be right back in a moment with your weather forecast. Stay with us. The construction sale continues at Russell Barnett Key in Tullahoma. Even though the construction process is still going on, Russell Barnett says we have to move them out now. Check out this 2013 Kia Rio, yours today for $15,995. With America's best warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. So remember, Russell Barnett Key in Tullahoma is the dealer for the people. And my question is, why buy anywhere else? Doing whatever it takes to respect our customers' homes. Just one more way Charter is obsessed with serving you better. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1952 at 99 degrees. Record low was in 1948 at 54 degrees. The average high on this day is 87 and the average low is 67. For tonight, look for clear weather in your forecast with a low of around 63. Mostly cloudy weather expected for Friday with a high of 87 and a low of 67. Some scattered thunderstorms in your forecast for Saturday with a high of 81 and a low of 65. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great night.